morning world. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but then so many reviews are about lunch and dinner. So stick with us and we'll show you a wide range of places where you can get your morning meal. The first place we're going to show you is the convenience store. And there's so many in Japan and they have so much variety and options. So what you can do, grab it, take it back to your hotel, bring it to the park, eat and then go explore. Okay, first up what we've got is an onigiri. This is a prawn tempura onigiri. So many varieties, salmon, seaweed, fish eggs, so many kinds. Mmm, the tempura, nice and soft and squidgy. It's a staple Japanese food, it's like the staple snack. Feeling a little hungry, just, yeah, go grab an onigiri. Perfect snack. So at the convenience store, there's lots of bread products as well. There's sandwiches, rolls, wraps, everything. Uh, this is a mochi mochi pan with kurumi, which is walnut. And mochi mochi means soft and squidgy. So I'm expecting this to be super, super soft. Rip a bit. Very sweet and very soft. There's also lots of hot food at the convenience stores as well. This is some fried chicken here. Fried chicken from the convenience stores is awesome. Mmm, not exactly breakfast food, it was so good. There's also lots of drinks at the convenience store. This is warmed bottled green tea, perfect for the colder months. Okay, next, let's go to some restaurants where we can get breakfast as well. We're at Yayoiken as the first stop on our breakfast tour. It's a Japanese style Teishoku restaurant and for breakfast you can get rice, miso soup and some sides and a main which is normally like fish or natto. Okay, so let's pop it in English and this morning I'm going to go with some salt grilled salmon, three refills on the rice. I'm going to add some grated yam to it as well. And when you get to this screen, all you have to do is put in your money and you'll get your ticket. Okay, so I have my breakfast in front of me. Let me show you what I've got. Okay, I've got some miso soup here, bowl of rice, and this rice is all uh, Japanese grown. Some grated yam, wobble, 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 wobble. Pickles on this plate, we've got a few things. We've got shake, which is salmon. We've got some grated daikon. We have some ginger and seaweed. And here is a uh, komatsuna. It's a kind of leaf with, to with a tofu puree. Let's dig in. Itadakimasu. Mix that up and pop that on top of my rice. So it's very sticky and a little slimy, as you can see. Mmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Really delicious, really good. So the grated daikon uh, it goes very nicely with uh, grilled fish. So let's have some of that with the, uh, with the salmon. Mmm. So where the daikon has been grated, where the radish has been grated, it's kind of uh, watery. Mm. Nice. And done. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, time to go to the next place. Okay, so we're ready for our next breakfast. We're ready for the sushi breakfast. We're going to have the Itsuma Bushi Kai Sendon, which is a medley of 12 different kinds of seafood on top of rice. And we've got sea urchin, which is uni in the middle. Very exciting, let's try it. So excited, next breakfast, come on. Okay. Ah, thank you. The uh, sea urchin is from Hokkaido. Wow, okay, this looks amazing. Okay, now there is a special way that we should eat our, our kai sendon, and we have some instructions to follow. So let's go through them and uh, let's enjoy this. First step is to take some wasabi, mix it up with the soy sauce, and then just pour it over everything. So this bit is ready. Yeah, itadakimasu. 
that seafood tastes really nice and really fresh. And there's so many different kinds of it. I've got tuna here and I uh, found some, uh, some salmon. I think this bit is squid. There's a prawn as well, octopus. There's so much in here, so much different stuff. Try a little bit of the uni from Hokkaido. Hokkaido is very famous for its seafood. Oh wow, oh wow, that's really good. It's a little sweet and mix it with the soy sauce, which has got a little bit of saltiness. The, um, the ikura, the, the, the egg, the fish eggs, it's also got a little bit of saltiness. Like all that kind of mixed together, you get lots of different flavors, but they all stand out. Okay, and now let's go to the next step of how to eat our itsumabushi. Step two, add in the sweet pickles and then mash all the ingredients together. Really get those flavors mixed in. This step was my favorite. All that mashing really brought out the flavors of all the different kinds of seafood. I'm enjoying so much that I can't talk. The sweetness from the sea urchin carried through the whole dish. It was exquisite. And the final step is with soup. Pour the kelp stock over the remaining rice, but be careful, it's quite hot. I'm just gonna add a little bit more wasabi to give it, you know, give it a little bit more kick. Just pop that in, give that a stir. All of the pieces of fish are starting to change their color because the, um, the soup is quite hot. The soup is mildly, mildly salty, and you definitely get a bit of um, the seaweed flavor in there. So it's very easy to eat. There's not so many strong flavors in, in this part. Yeah, it's a very nice breakfast food. A staple of Japanese breakfast is soup. Now you're gonna find Soup Stock Tokyo everywhere in Tokyo. They do a lot of international soups and it's a great place to have a meal any time of the day. At the moment, we're at Odashi Tokyo, which is made by the same people but they focus on Japanese soups. It's a great place to have breakfast, so let's check out what they've got. Okay, so we have our first meal in front of us here. Let me walk you through what we've got. Okay, first of all, we have two sides. We've got some pickles, and then we have okada. Now it's kind of like a soybean mash. Of course, it's a Japanese meal, so we have rice. And then the main event, we've, first of all, we've gone with lobster and miso soup. Start off with some pickles nice and refreshing mm. and it's laced with sesame seeds as well and then also we have the okara which is like that soybean mash it's nice and soft very beany quite soft easy to eat perfect for breakfast now for the main event let's have some of this lobster miso soup quite thick it's thicker than i expected oh smells strong you can definitely start to smell that miso That's nice. Oh wow. That first that first flavor was like, okay, that's nice, that's miso soup. And then afterwards it hit the back of my throat and I was like, wow, okay, no, that is good miso. So this uh, miso soup is made with two kinds of miso, a red miso and a white miso. The red miso is a sendai miso, it's a little salty. And then you also got a white miso, which is a little sweet, and that's saikyo miso. So we got some croutons. Now these croutons have soaked up all of the miso soup as well. Ah, looks amazing, look at that. Ready? Oh. And that saltiness from the miso soup is just kind of sucked in. Okay, and we got some yam here as well. We've got a nice big chunk of it. Got a nice big chunk of it. Let's have that. So good. It's got that kind of sweetness and a little bit of, um, not exactly slime, but it, you know, lube, it's like lubricated, it just goes straight down. Okay, and then we've also got this bad boy in the middle, this ooh, big, uh, it was a white fish and uh, shrimp uh, meat, ooh, quite chunky, but let's, let's get into it. Mmm, oh, that's so good. Fishy, not overly fishy soft. What I've noticed about Japanese breakfast, what we've done over this whole this whole episode, is that they're so easy to eat. They're so light and just go down so easily. We also got a chicken rice porridge made with special Hakata Ichiban Dori chicken stock. You get sides of fried soy curd, pickles, sun-dried tomatoes and a little white bait. Eat each spoonful with a different side to get a different experience. 
Okay, let's go to the next place. And now we are at our next location, Yoshinoya. You can find Yoshinoya around the world, the US, Singapore, Philippines, and it's famous for its beef and rice bowls. But today we're going to have breakfast here. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two breakfasts. Uh, only one is for me, the other one is for our cameraman because it's early, he needs to have breakfast as well. So the one that I have here is natto, which is fermented soybeans. So this isn't to everyone's taste, but I love it. I love it. And then this one here is the shirasu teishoku, which is uh, white bait. It's a little fishies. So as you can see here, we both have a, a raw egg. They do go through a special process, so they are safe to eat. Stir them up, put them on the rice, eat them just like that. Lots of protein. Excellent. Okay, and tidetakimasu. Okay, so what we're going to do first is put all the, uh, the stuff on the natto. We have some uh, tare, some sauce here to put on the natto. And then next we have some mustard, which has to go on there as well. And I also have some noddy here, some dried seaweed. So you can like wrap this up and make little like little sushi rolls. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, and take a bit, crush it up, sprinkle it on top. Some of these onions, and then I'm just going to stir this all up. Look at that, look at that. Natto isn't for everybody, but uh, it took me nine years to get, <laughs> to get used to the taste, but now I, I love it and have it every single day. Mm. It's no difficult to explain the taste of natto. It's fermented soybeans, so it's got quite a very strong taste and a very strong smell. Um, when you come to Japan, I definitely suggest you at least try some just uh, just once. If you like it, then great, because it's really healthy as well. Uh, it reduces cholesterol and reduces your risk of uh, heart disease as well. But if natto isn't your thing, then there's also ham and eggs, um, some little beef bowl and fish as well. So there's always something for you if you're at Yoshinoya. And now we've come to our last place on our breakfast tour. We've come to World Breakfast All Day. As the name suggests, you can get breakfast from around the world all day long. In each store, there's four countries to try. In the Gai and Mai store, we had an English breakfast, more of that later, Taiwanese with a cheese and ham crepe, a vinegared soy milk soup, and a rice ball filled with fried bread and pork floss. We also had a Mexican breakfast of huevos rancheros, two types of salsa and fried eggs on tortillas with black beans and guacamole on the side. Finally, there's a special every two months. This time, it was Russian. Here we have, oh, from my country, ah, English fried breakfast. We've got fried bread, hash brown, scrambled eggs, baked beans, grilled tomato, grilled mushrooms and a sausage. I am so excited. I haven't had a uh, breakfast from my homeland for about three years. I think the best place to start is with the sausage. Ah, it looks meaty. Oh. That tastes like a proper sausage. Straight away, the taste hits you. Even before it gets to the back of your tongue, there's that meaty, herby taste. Oh. And it's juicy as well, it's really juicy. Next, gonna have some hash brown. And you gotta have some of your hash brown with beans. Crunchy, beautiful potato. Oh, yeah, that definitely didn't come from uh, a fast food restaurant. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the, uh, the fried bread just to soak in the baked bean sauce just for a little bit so it gets nice and soggy. That's the way you gotta have it. While that's sogging up, let's have a mushroom. Still with beans, you've got to have everything with beans. That's what the beans are there for. The beans go with everything else. Oh, that's nice. That's proper, proper mushroom. You know, Japan has a lot of different variations of mushroom, shiitake, enoki. Nothing beats a little button mushroom though. Next bit I'm gonna try is the scrambled eggs. I am a little bit allergic to eggs, but 
for the sake of tasting it, I'm just gonna have a little bit. I'll be okay, I'll be okay. It's been 10, 15 years since I've had some scrambled eggs. I don't know how to explain it because <laughs> I don't know what eggs taste like. So by now, I think the, uh, the fried bread must be a little bit soggy from the bean juice. So let's, uh, let's try some of that. You can see the bean juice soaked through all the way through the crust. Mmm, mmm, I'm in heaven. And to go with our English breakfast, we've got an English drink. We've got PG Tips. And it's a little bit strange not drinking PG Tips from a mug, but it's still hot and it's in the glass. It's been a long time. Ah, tastes like home. Well, I am stuffed. There's so many breakfasts, and if you have any more recommendations for breakfasts in Japan, Tokyo, or elsewhere, let us know, drop us a comment, and as always, like and subscribe. Okay, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio and sayonara.